it might take some getting used to because you can't really tell the vehicle's running until you put it in gear and start driving. Uh, the only noise you hear is the road noise of your tires, pretty much. And uh, you hear a slight noise from the motor due to the uh, brushes on the commutator bars. Then there's the top speed, 48 miles an hour. What Bud Wren doesn't miss, stopping at the gas station, changing oil, checking antifreeze, and replacing belts and hoses. There aren't any. You know, I started by pulling the motor out, the exhaust, gas tank, entire fuel system, radiator, you know, gutted the truck. Here in Campbell's Island, Illinois, using a scavenged motor controller from his job as an electric fork truck mechanic and good old Yankee ingenuity, Bud has done a $1,000 conversion on a 1988 Mazda pickup truck. This is the motor. This was a uh, half-inch plate of steel. It used to be a manhole cover. John Root, a renewable energy consultant, says Bud is absolutely on the right track. All you need is a DC motor, which we've had in industry for hundreds of year, or 100 years, a charge controller, and then you've got batteries. And really, the weak link is the batteries because of their weight. We need to put our R&D money into lightweight batteries. Bud's truck will run about 25 miles on a charge, using about 50 cents worth of electricity. In other words, less than two cents a mile. Bud's next goal, converting a car for his wife, Sharon, who commutes to work on the interstate every day. Meanwhile, he's building his dream garage with a plan to start a conversion business. I'm pretty excited about it. You know, it's been a, a dream of mine. You know, I've been wanting to do it for a long time. It's just the beginning of uh, many projects that I plan on doing, you know, to help the environment. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.